throughout this series of sets right now between Karasuno and Alba Josai, there's been multiple points that like change the momentum. But this episode being called the point that changes the momentum scares me for some reason. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with High Q. This is it, guys. We're gonna be finishing the first season right now in this little sit down bunch i'm going to be watching episodes 23 24 and 25 and then we're going to get right into season two and then once we start doing our uh four episodes a week per show once toradora is finished then we're going to be ooh, we're going to be zooming through we're going to catch on up we're going to be watching along with the rest of the people so again shout out to karasuno tv for all the help and support in terms of well shout out to everyone i've hit up hita 22 that's the bruh aka luke and karasuno all help me out karasuno was the only one that actually like work because you know youtube is very finicky but shouts out to all the other reactioners out there helping me out keeping this community strong close-knit you know because we all go through the same struggles so we all need to have each other's backs when we're fighting through them so i just appreciate that oh so very much i say be hopping into this remember guys if you guys want early access and full length to this show all the other shows i'm currently watching and have watched in the past check out that patreon down below if patreon's not really your thing but you still want to support me if you could just leave a like and then a nice comment down below saying anything that helps push me out into that algorithm a little bit more helps people see my faces a little bit more and it helps more than you guys know trust me trust me trust me i appreciate y'all let's hop uh on into this hi q episode 23 the point <laughs> the point that changes the momentum no i don't like that oh Oh, good save. Yeah. We each have our own strengths in this little bout we got on going on right now, but oh my lord. So they completely switched up and made their Libero set that, whereas Oikawa's the one who uh, received it? That's insane. Ah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's genius. That is genius. It's like basketball when you're saving a, a ball from going out. You just got to jump and get it over before you hit the ground. He was able to do that, so it's still technically a, a, a backline spike, right? Versus a front to backline spike. Gene Jesus. Yeah, everyone's trying their hardest, so we just get to see experience and talent built up right now, you know? Oh yeah, give me some info, Suga. Tell me the news. Yep, give me the give me the deets, give me the lowdown, come on. And yeah, we're barely trailing. Even Oikawa can't help be uneasy. As much as possible, use the sides. I like that name for it, the Broad Cross. Oh. No one expects this little man's speed and tenacity, come on. Hell yeah. He's so serious about this right now. I love it. Because he's never serious. I've never seen him like this. Yeah, especially when... Ooh, especially during long rallies going back and forth. I could totally see this. This is so much high-intensity activity. That is true. You cannot stop. His number one goal is always to stay in here, and he doesn't want to leave, so he must go beyond plus ultra right now. He has to. Use the sides so much that we can break through the middle again, right against Oikawa. You love to see it. Pipe penetration. <laughs> the best damn decoy. He's such a good decoy that even Kageyama's like, damn, I even wanted to toss to him, even though I knew he's the decoy. 
That's would be me. I would be beat, guys. You don't understand how out of shape I am. I literally could do one rally. And I'd be literally done. Yeah. He's been out on the sidelines since literally like episode three, but I know he's gonna have his moment. I know he will. He's been showing the the drive to do it. They said let's get rid of that. They're not even This is so weird. Oh, because no one's obstructing his view, they just let the Libero do his job? Oh my, and then they're back on other attack shit, where they're just fucking, who knows what attack they're doing now. Who knows what their attack are doing, you know? That's true, with the broads, he's so fast and going to the side, he's not going to be able to snipe it, yeah. Use a dig. <sighs> oh, the point that changes the momentum. Here we go. Yep. Yeah, that makes so much sense. I'm gonna talk about that later. That's a good point, man. Is this going to be that moment right now where he tries to break through? Oh no, the momentum changer. 1916, we're down three now. Yeah, they're going to take advantage of this as much as they can. But, but I saw Tsukushima in the front and I've, I love Tsukushima, so I have faith. Who are they subbing? <gasps> Yamaguchi, Todd? It is Yamaguchi. That is true, 100%. That is straight facts. But is he going in for Hinata to serve? I'll be honest. I, I thought of a number of instances that could change the momentum in this game. Not a single one included Yamaguchi. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Way to have the symbolism, the feeling of how hot it is, the presence on this court. He literally takes a step on. <laughs> and it's really not his team. It's the other team. First serve at his first high school match. <laughs> it's in a, in a very important preliminary against one of the best teams in one of the craziest spots. <laughs> That's a good ass team right there. Way to fucking help him out. You can't go wrong with Karasuna. Fuck with these guys. Oh my god. Guys. Is most of all, boy, yeah. <sighs> Yamaguchi, I have utmost faith in you. A jump float. What he was practicing. That is true. Please go in. Please go in. P no. Oh, right as the momentum needed to be in our favor. It happens. It's okay. It is okay. It is okay. Yamaguchi. We're down three. We still got five left before we lose. It is okay. Yeah, definitely lucky. I was going to catch him off so much guard. Oh, you know he's not shaking that off. That's like glue to him. That's the way to look at it. Oh. You know they appreciate the next time. Like, come on, baby. We're only here to make you better. <laughs> no matter how he did, that definitely changed the pacing and momentum of the game. Will only improve him. Oh, yeah. 100%. I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, they did. That's true. Maybe seeing one of your own being brave, standing up, you know, for the team helps them stick through it, fight through all this. Come on. 100%. I love these neighborhood association guys. I can't lie to you. I'm so glad they're here commentating. Nice. Nice. Oh my god. We're only down two right now. 
It's getting to the wire. Come on, guys. No. Nishinoya is going to come in. Okay, Tanaka. That's that boy, bro. <laughs> That's the boy. Come on, guys. Do whatever you can. Do whatever you can. You think Daichi's not going to receive that? Come on, bro. Everyone on the team. The back of Alba Josai is not that far. We're pulling forward, boys. Oh. That's set point, right? Nah, it's all good. I'm not worried. We're going to get two more. I'm not. We got two more episodes. Two more episodes, two more points. Kageyama did exactly what he did. So close to the net. He did exactly what Oikawa did. The one hand. Oh, just to get it back on his side. Grab fucking over Jose from the back. Fuck you guys. Come on. Come on, bro. We're at a fucking deuce. That's got to be the end of the episode, isn't it? Yeah, man. That's so fucking good. This is just good television right here. You can't go wrong. All right, I am back. I had to go blow my nose. You guys know how the show goes. It is typical hypeness, awesome moments, Darius crying. It's about how it goes throughout the, these episodes in Haikyuu, you know. Awesomeness, great moments, Darius crying. No matter how the beginning and middle usually end, the third arc of the episode usually ends with Darius crying. So, but oh my lord, was that a fantastic episode. I really don't even know where to start. If I'm honest with you, I'm going to be talking about... Probably more than I generally talk about just because I got some real big video game vibes from this and not in a way that you guys will be thinking more of a competitiveness in terms of video games because if you guys don't know in terms of sports this is obviously my first sports anime but in terms of sports the only real sport I played I want to say even considerably and I don't and I can say considerably even in air quotes because I only played on like like little league like 13 under but that was baseball. You know, I played against, I obviously I played basketball with the friends, played football with the friends, but never really on like a true team, never really out there in like these kind of environments. So I wouldn't necessarily be able to compare any of those experiences I had with friends to this, but, and I can't really compare baseball because it's just such a different game. There's no real momentum you're carrying like this. It's such a different feel, but I can compare it to some video games I have played in some competitive environments. Like in terms of, uh, the whole team aspect and just relying on your team. I can I consider it a lot like a lot of other shooters like CSGO. I've put thousands of hours into and now this is a little too nerdy for you guys. I apologize, but just the reference between this is a game where you solely the entirety of the game is relying on your teammates. Like that's what 99% of the game is. But there's also these individual moments where everyone's eyes are on you and you know you have to clutch up or do these kind of things sometimes you do it sometimes you don't and a lot of the pride the momentum a lot of these things that are the same in this game it will happen in that game you know like so there's, there's gonna be subs there's gonna be this that and the other you know but a, a lot of the time it's relying on your team knowing how you fit to the team and, and finding that certain piece where your puzzle piece is going to fit on that board you know like individuality doesn't necessarily doesn't doesn't necessarily work that's why the whole king of the court kageyama thing doesn't work in any sport whether it be like volleyball whether it be esports like csgo you know and another huge thing i got from this episode because they, they, they put a lot of emphasis on the rallies and how taxing they are and when you think about it um I, I i forget the uh the term specifically but there's like two different types of exercising or or working out i mean I'm, I'm sure there's more types but there's like short really high intensity burst type of exercise that anaerobic see i, I completely forgot all the all the all the terms but and then there's slow you know long burning exercise where you're just slowly doing this thing but there's also high but these guys are doing these high quick intensity fast paced exercises but sometimes they go on for minutes on end like you got to think if it's a two three minute rally oh my god it's like boxing two three minute wrestling same thing you know two to three minutes of that intense constantly moving you're literally by the time they hit that fucking you know you go back to your corner or whatever you're burnt like you're beat i completely understand these guys you know like 
especially later on in the rally when you start spiking from different positions or you start like it's, oh, i forgot what the neighborhood association guy's name was but he was saying like i wish someone else would spike it you have that little thought in the back of your head i wish someone else would do this i wish it would just fall you know even though you need to push through it to gain that momentum to gain that huge edge in terms of this push like it's it, it's so taxing on a player and then let's say you have a like the biggest rally of the set you're going on it for a minute minute and like minutes and then somebody makes one simple fuck up mistake and it's just you really get demoralized and your momentum shifts it's and this is the video game where i uh reference that too is gonna be uh smash bros and like if you're having a and like if it's fucking three to three in terms of your set and you have a huge moment where you know you get a, a stock and like i'm just saying you can have an insane rally where you're both at like a hundred percent but this the first simple mistake can really cost you the momentum of the match and morality you know because if he can get you an extra 50 to 70 percent on that next stock you know it's like what do you do you cost all that for literally one mistake you hate to see it you hate to see it but it's so realistic like i like i said i love just not the plays of the volleyball that they're doing but i love the emotional toll that the competitiveness takes on these guys and the physical toll like these guys are going through a volleyball match they're fucking tired every time i see these guys drink water i just want to drink water i'm like oh, i'm just tired watching this anime you know what i'm saying but fantastic episode we're at a deuce, 24-24. You must win by two. I have seen in the comments, thank you, Jess, shouts out to you, um, of some people letting me know of actual games that go up to like, I forgot the numbers you guys specifically said, but it was like 30-something to 30. You know, it can get, it can get up there. It's kind of like not overtime when it comes to football because you can just tie, but it's like overtime when it comes to basketball. It's like overtime when it comes to Counter-Strike. If it's fucking 15-15, they'll go to 18-18, they'll go to 21-21, they'll go to 24-24. There have been Counter-Strike games where they go up to the 30s, I swear. It's supposed to end at 16. First one to 16. Like, it's just crazy, you know? It's crazy. I love the show. I love the competitiveness. I love the characters easily. Yamaguchi, like, I agree. He definitely fucked up. Didn't necessarily do what he was supposed to do even though what he was supposed to do was just change momentum they set him up for a pincher but he did that and it's gonna make him so much stronger 100 percent, it's gonna make him stronger i love the squad love you guys most of all appreciate y'all if you guys want to ask me any questions about high q now will be the time where i answer them check out the q a on discord down below that is the spot um if you guys like this and want to check out early access full length whatever consider checking out the patreon down below i appreciate y'all down for squad peace out have a great day